the question question number 13 it was we had done 14th question yes answer was 15 unit any doubt in question number 14 to any students you can ask them okay i hope there won't be any doubt regarding this so uh, let's move on to question number 15 illustrate the law of conservation of energy by discussing the energy changes which occur when we draw a pendulum bob to one side and allow it to oscillate i had shown you a simple pendulum so they are asking about that why does the bob eventually come to rest eventually means gradually slowly why does it come to rest eventually what happens to its uh, energy eventually is it a violation of the law of conservation of energy yes who can discuss this answer you all have seen pendulum bob oscillating so what happens to its energy eventually it comes to a stop we all know that dheere dheere jaise fan rest pe aa jata hai waise ye bhi rest pe aa jata hai so kya law of conservation of energy yahan pe hold nahi kar raha yes any answer yes students any answer no idea about it okay so see the friction of air the resistance of air slowly brings it to rest okay the resistance of air will slowly bring this simple pendulum to rest but the law of conservation of energy is still holding here it is not violating the law of conservation of energy because that energy is being lost to the surroundings the energy that the simple pendulum was having it was mechanical energy we know that that is kinetic and potential energy so that is being lost to the surroundings but total energy is remaining the same so it does not violate the law of conservation of energy 16th question now let's do question number 16 now an object of mass m is moving with constant velocity v so this is u in this case this is initial velocity of this object given to you how much work should be done on the object in order to bring the object to rest so me kitna work karna chahiye ki object rest pe aa jaye yes which formula we are going to use here raise hand if you know in this question which formula we can use question number 16 this is yes students question number 16 which formula we can use to calculate work here here displacement is not given force is not given so which formula do you suggest we can use here yes gia ma'am mgh mgh is fine but height is given is the height given here no so we did work energy theorem also do you know that what is work energy theorem we will be using work energy theorem like we calculated uh, work in question number 17 we already did 17th question with this formula so now it must be coming to your mind yes what is work energy theorem who knows that or any formula of work energy if you know you can share with me yes students work energy theorem work done is equal to what fill in this blank work done is equal to dash who will tell me now work done is equal to dash yes yes lisa work done equals to half m v square minus u square no 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 fill my blank in fill in my blank work done is equal to dash in words work done is equal to what yes anyone work done is equal to dash fill in this blank now i am not asking the formula 
Now I am asking this blank you have to complete. Yes, anyone? Work done is equal to change in kinetic energy. The blank is work done is kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial. Okay. So let us do this question using work energy theorem now. So according to work energy theorem, work done is half m v square minus u square. Here initial velocity is given v. Okay, we had read the statement that here the object is earlier moving with velocity v. So that must be its u. And they are asking how much work will be done to stop the object. Stop the object means final velocity of the object is zero in this case. So we uh, we will put v equal to zero. Rather, values are not given in this question. That means as such, we will uh, write the expression. Okay. So mass is not given, value of velocity is not given. So we will just apply the formula and let us solve. So put these values in this formula. 0 square minus v square. So the answer is minus half m v square. So this is the answer to question number 16. This is how we will solve this. So the answer is minus half m v square. Okay, the answer is minus half m v square. Ab kisi ko doubt hai isme to put sakte ho. 17th question already we have done. Okay. Seventeenth question we have done already. Okay. So let us see the next question now. So I'm going to share question number 18 now. Yes. In each of the following a force F is acting on an object of mass M. The direction of displacement is from west to east, shown by the longer arrow. Observe the diagrams carefully and state whether the work done by the force is negative, positive or zero. Yes, in first figure, what is the amount of work done? They are saying that bigger arrow is showing the direction of displacement. So how much work is done in the first case, Priyanshika? Ma'am, zero work done. Zero work done. Why zero work done? Ma'am, because angle between force and displacement is 90 degrees. Yes. And Lisa, you tell in B part, in second figure, what is the work done? Positive work done. Yes. And Gia, in third type, what is the work done? Negative work done. Negative. Work. Negative. So, yes, you are now expert in... Uh, uh, this type of question, when, when force and displacement are in the same direction, work done is positive. When force and displacement are in the opposite directions, work done is negative. When the force and displacement are perpendicular to each other, then work done is zero. So you are already doing that. Question number 19. Sony says that acceleration in an object could be zero even when several forces are acting on it. Do you agree with her? Why? So, वो कह रही है कि acceleration जो है वो zero भी हो सकती है even if many forces are acting on it. So, even if many forces are acting on it, then net force acting on the object could be zero if the forces are balanced. Now. So, if net force acting on the object is zero, then acceleration could be zero. So, yes, we agree with her. So, if the resultant of several forces acting on one object is zero. If the force is balanced one, then acceleration can be zero also. Because if there is no force acting, no acceleration would be taking place. Let us uh, find question number 20 now. It's a numerical, so do it in your copy. Find energy in kilowatt hour consumed in 10 hours by four devices of power, 500 watt each. So let me note down the particulars, then we will solve this question. You also try in your copy. Which formula we will be using here? Power is energy upon time. So cross multiply energy is power into time. Let's note down the values here. Power is 
five hundred watt, and time is ten hours. And there are four such devices. Okay, there are four such devices. So let us find the energy consumed. Okay, so energy is power into time cube. Let us find energy consumed by one device first of all. Energy consumed by one device E is power into time five hundred into ten. That is five thousand watt hour. Thousand watt hour means kilowatt hour. So that is five kilowatt hour. We have first calculated energy. Consumed by one device, five kilowatt hour. Energy consumed by one device is five. So, what is energy consumed by four devices? There are four such devices. Multiply this by four. So, the answer is twenty kilowatt hour or twenty units. So, twenty units of energy will be consumed by such a device. By four such devices, जिनकी power 500 watt है और जो रोज 10 hours के लिए work करते हैं. Okay, so uh, these types of questions are clear to you. This way we can also calculate the electricity bill. If it is asked, if the cost of one unit is given, we can also calculate the electricity bill. We will do those types of questions also. So first have a look if there is any doubt in these types of questions. Okay, I hope this was question number nineteen. So, have you noted it? Any doubt? Let's see the next question now. Okay, this was twentieth. Now, last question twenty one. A freely falling object eventually stops on reaching the ground. What happens to its kinetic energy? Okay, now we have seen that the freely falling object has maximum kinetic energy when it reaches the ground. But in this question, they have given that an object eventually stops. वो रुक रही है. Maximum speed होने की बजाय वो तो रुकी गई है. So they are asking what happens to its kinetic energy. It is expected to have maximum kinetic energy, but it is not having any kinetic energy. Where does its kinetic energy go? That means they are asking. Where does this kinetic energy go? Yes, any idea about it? कोई बता सकता है वो kinetic energy कहाँ पे गई? So that means when the object is striking the ground, इतनी ज़्यादा heat उसमें produce हो गई है, or the object must have broken, it must have destroyed itself, or some energy must have been lost to the surroundings. But total energy would have remained the Same even then, right? So you will write that kinetic energy must have been converted into heat energy, or rest of the energy must have been lost to the surrounding, or some energy must have uh, been used to break the object. वो object या तो टूट गई होगी और उसकी destruction में कुछ energy use up हो गई होगी. Heat produced हुई होगी when it uh, मस्ट हैव स्ट्रक अगेंस्ट द ग्राउंड तो बहुत सारी हीट प्रोड्यूस हुई होगी सो यू विल से द कानेटिक एनर्जी मस्ट हैव बीन कन्वर्टेड इन टू हीट एनर्जी एंड सम एनर्जी मस्ट बी यूज इन डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द बॉडी सम एनर्जी मस्ट बी लॉस टू द सराउंडिंग्स बट टोटल एनर्जी वुड हैव रिमेन द सेम टोटल एनर्जी अभी भी सेम ही रही होगी ओके फाइन फाइन स्टूडेंट so our exercise is over our syllabus is over so you are ready for the final term our whole of the syllabus of physics is over now okay now we are just going to revise and revise the things yes any doubt from the whole exercise first if you have you can ask now otherwise we will be doing some extra questions yes students any doubts from your side first पूछ लो कोई डाउट है अगर राइट यस नेक्स्ट वीक यू विल बी हैविंग टेस्ट ठीक है 
तो बी रेडी फॉर दैट वर्क एनर्जी का टेस्ट होगा वर्क एनर्जी एंड पावर इसका टेस्ट होगा नेक्स्ट वीक सो बी रेडी फॉर दैट ओके फाइन नाउ राइट सम एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन इन योर कॉपी राइट डाउन राइट डाउन अ फैक्ट्री हैज एट मशीन अ फैक्ट्री हैज एट मशीन ऑफ ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड वॉट ईच राइट डाउन अ फैक्ट्री दिस इज एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन बट यू कैन स्टिल डू इन योर फेयर कॉपी इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन डू दैन अमेरिकल फेयर अ फैक्ट्री हैज एट मशीन ऑफ ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड वॉट ईच If each machine runs for ten hours a day, if each machine runs for ten hours a day, find the cost of electrical units consumption per day. Calculate the cost of electrical units consumption per day. If the rate per unit is four rupees. If the rate per unit is four rupees, so eight machines are in a factory. Me, twelve hundred watt is the power of each, and they are being operated for ten hours a day. If the cost of one unit is four rupees, what is the cost of this? What is the bill of this factory in one day? One day, me, its how much bill will be? Okay, so let us do this question now. same way we will do here now power of each device is 1200 time is again 10 hours so let us calculate energy consumed by one device one machine energy consumed by one machine is 1200 into 10 that is 12000 watt hour or 12 kilowatt hour so one machine consumes 12 units ek hi machine 12 units consume kar rahi so how much energy is consumed by eight such machines that is 8 into 12 96 kilowatt hour so 96 units are being consumed by eight devices eight machines in that factory in one day further we will use unitary method okay now cost of one unit is 4 rupees so what is the cost of 96 unit that is 96 into 4 404 rupees तो एक दिन का उस फैक्ट्री का बिल आता होगा फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर रुपीज एक डे का बिल उसका कितना आता होगा फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर रुपीज थ्री एटी फोर थ्री एटी फोर रुपीज ठीक है so is this question clear aise aapko ek list bhi di ja sakti hai accordingly you can solve that so today what you will do you will see the electricity bill of your own house and you will count the number of units okay what you will do now i am going to give you a task you have to uh, note down the reading of your electricity meter of your house today okay and after 10 days again you will note down its reading you will count the number of units consumed and tell me the cost of those units you will tell me ki 10 dino ka bill kitna aayega aapke ghar ka according to you 10 days ka kitna bill aayega aapke house ka theek hai so i am going to give you this activity and we will discuss next to next week After ten days are complete, I'll be discussing this activity in the class. So you should all be ready with the data of your house. ठीक है? Are you getting it? So what you will do? आज आप अपने electricity meter की reading note करोगे कितने units हैं? Exactly after ten days, you will again note down the reading. 
you will note down the number of units consumed in 10 days and then you will multiply those units well with the cost of one unit and calculate the electricity bill of your house expected in 10 days. ठीक है तो हम सब डिस्कस करेंगे कि कितना है आपका इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल टेन डेज का कितना आ रहा है आपके घर का राइट यस आर्यन स्पीक दैट स्टेटमेंट एक क्वेश्चन हम उस दिन कर रहे थे दैट टू पर्सन ए एंड बी आप बोलो आर्यन a piece of work in one day and two days respectively which of them has more power greater work yes so this question we were doing that day let us complete this question also so i repeat if anyone was absent that day two persons are completing certain piece of work two persons a and b are completing certain piece of work in one day and two days respectively in one day and two days respectively in one day and two days respectively which of them a part has done more work or b part has more power which of them has done more work which of them has more power ठीक है तो अब चलिए कौन बताएगा विच ऑफ देम हैज डन मोर वर्क वट डू यू थिंक विच ऑफ देम हैज डन मोर वर्क ये सेम सेम स्टूडेंट्स आर आंसरिंग वट अबाउट अदर्स धैर्य आप बताओ यस धैर्य आप बताइए धैर्य एनी आइडिया अबाउट इट यस नो मैम यू कैन ट्राई एट लीस्ट यस हु एल्स कैन डू दैट चार भी आप बताओ Charvi unmute. Charvi unmute yourself. Yes, Karanveer. Ma'am, A has more power and B has done more work. आप सिर्फ आप ये बताइए कि work किसने ज़्यादा किया है? आप एक answer बताइए दो. B. B. Divya, what do you say? Divya. both have done the same work both of them they have done the work so work done by both is same both have completed the work you know in uh, considering work we don't consider time we don't bother about the time i told you ki power calculate karte hain hum power time dekhenge but work ke time pe humne bas ye dekhna hai ki whether the work has been done or not so work has been done in this case so both have done the same amount of work Yes, Riyanshika, you tell me which has more power now. Ma'am, he has more power. Why? Because he has completed, because he has completed the work in one day. Yes. And time and power are inversely proportional. Yes, because power is energy upon time or work upon time. Since work is same, power is inversely proportional to time. So one who has taken less time to do the work has more power. So that's why A will have more power. person a has more power but but the work done by both is same okay write another question now which of the following is equal with newton meter options are joule horsepower watt pascal yes who can tell me this answer Which of these is equal to Newton meter? Options are joule, horsepower, watt, pascal. Which one is correct? Yes, Jatin. Two 
मम जाउल जाउल वेरी गुड बिकॉज वन जाउल इज वन न्यूटन मीटर ओके सो न्यूटन मीटर एंड जाउल दीज आर वन एंड द सेम थिंग सो द आंसर इज जाउल वेरी गुड ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन राइट डाउन अ मैन ऑफ मास सिक्सटी के जी अ मैन ऑफ मास सिक्सटी के जी क्लाइंब्स अप क्लाइंब्स अप फिफ्टी स्टेयर्स फिफ्टी स्टेप्स ऑफ अ स्टेयर अ मैन ऑफ मास सिक्सटी के जी क्लाइंब्स अप फिफ्टी स्टेप्स ऑफ अ स्टेयर इन टू मिनट्स इन टू मिनट्स इफ ईच स्टेप इज ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर हाई If each step e is twenty centimeter high, calculate the power used. Calculate the power used in climbing the stairs. Calculate the power used in climbing the stairs. So let's do this question. Let me note down the data. All of you, try in your copy. So mass of the man is sixty kg. He is climbing. Number of steps is fifty, and each step is having height twenty centimeter. Height of each step. Time taken is two minutes, and g is ten meter per second square. We have to find power in climbing up the stairs. So first of all, let us convert twenty uh, centimeter into meter by dividing by hundred. So that is point two meter. Okay. First, we have to convert centimeter into meter. Then we have to calculate the total height because the height of one step is given. If these are some steps, height of one step is point two meter, and there are fifty steps. Fifty steps. So, what will be the total height through which he is uh, climbing? So, total height is number of steps into height of one step. Fifty into point two. ठीक है? कितनी height होगी? Total height जितनी उसने climb की. Number of steps into height of one step. Right? So that is ten meter. so the height total height is 10 meter all right total height is 10 meter then so now we can easily calculate power when height is given we will use this formula mgh over time m is 60 g is 10 h we have calculated that is also 10 and time is also not in proper unit it should be in second so 2 minutes ko second mein convert kar liya 2 into 60 now the power that we will be getting will be in si units that will be in watt theek hai to kariye solve kitni power aa rahi hai 50 watt so your answer is 50 watt this way you can do the questions and you also try all the examples given in the chapter okay try all the numericals given in this chapter a similar numerical you will find so you try to solve that yourself currently yes yes currently yes ma'am haan ji bolo aapne hand raise kiya na आपको इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क एनी थिंग यू कैन इज दट फाइन ये और किसी को कोई डाउट 
ऐसे नमेरिकल्स में कोई डाउट देन वी विल डू द नमेरिकल्स ऑफ एनर्जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी कैनेटिक एनर्जी सो वी कैन गो ऑन कैलकुलेटिंग डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एनर्जी दिस वे सो वी विल कंटिन्यू टू मोरू